Hi, welcome to a new tutorial. I am Hilofa, a watercolor artist. Uh, so we'll be continuing our uh, floral series with just one round brush. Uh, up till now, we have experimented and we have painted different types of florals that would include uh, a lotus, a rosebud, um, a tulip, a magnolia, and you name it. There is a beautiful different types of florals, tutorial with using just one single brush that is a round brush eight number so do check them out and you can come back to this new tutorial today we are painting something really fun and really beautiful and that you can see everywhere and anywhere around the city that is a garbera flower they are available in very many different colors so you can choose and pick whichever color you like and just go have fun basically all right painting so this is again going to be using the same stroke the same um dew drop stroke uh if you haven't seen the first few videos i have explained how to do the dew drop strokes and also i have i have a different video on different strokes that is how to use different strokes simple strokes of dew drop stroke and also your brush it's an old video i have also link them in the description and on the top right corner so go check them out and come back and let's paint together all right so let's get started to paint this garbera flower the materials that we would be using is a dancing watercolor paper this is a hundred percent cellulose paper a round brush a tissue towel some water and if you have and the watercolor paints i like to store my paints into these kind of airtight palettes which you can close them and you can use them and you can take it anywhere these are the tubes that i've poured into this all right so let's get started so like you, you can see here garbera has a similar type of uh, petals like we paint in sunflowers or when we paint cornflower it's very similar uh, petals that we have been uh, doing from the past few tutorials right uh we will be continuing doing that but in here we'll be adding a little layer so this is one layer this is the second layer and then you can also add a couple of layers on the side on the first layer itself and then the, your center is going to be a little darker center here the contrast has to be between your center and your petal the contrast has to be there properly then only you would be able to get that um, lovely looking um, Garbera flowers because that contrast itself creates a beautiful flower. Now let's get started. The colors, I mean you can use for this flower, you can you can experiment with, with whatever color you like, whichever color you find interesting, you can go ahead with uh, because Garbera can be found in multiples and multiples of different types of colors. But I would be going with a brown and my all-time favorite crimson. Uh, you can do like a beautiful uh, yellows, pink, any color. You find Garbera is in like a zillion different types of colors. So you can go ahead and try any colors you like. Okay, so I've mixed a little bit of crimson with a yellow to get that little orange shade. So it's not exactly crimson. It's not even orange. It's it's in the peach peach family you could say okay now for the first layer let's go ahead remember this is your center point so you can make like a very small dot for your center so that you know where you are going with your petals go ahead and start adding these petals now make sure the petals are not very dark or else you will not be able to add in the uh, next layers of you know the petals that we want it has to be a, a, a symmetry so make sure that you are doing a like a proper circular shape do not go oval or do not go like in a very different shape make sure it's going in a nice and simpler shape simple circle shape now the set another layer that is going to be in the center i'm going to make it a little darker so actually we can wait for doing that let's do a little center first and then add the main color so for the center i'm using a paints gray or 
board you can use any dark nice beautiful gray colors like a neutral tint or something i'm gonna add a center there this is my center and then and as i said i'm going to take a little darker shade i will let the uh, outer petals dry a little so that i can do the inside petals a little most nicely the inside petals are going to be very much co-joined to your center and so you would get nice effect and then I'm going to add in a little like I said excess extra petals over the actual flower Okay, that's it. Now, this is your Carpella flower. You can experiment with it. You can bring paint it as you like, and then you go ahead, make it nice green. So this is like a sap green plus viridian green. Instead of using a single color green, I'm using a double colored. Now I'm removing some color on the side. And yeah. Here is your carpella flower, and then this is done. Okay, now let's do another one here on the side. Okay, let's do like a yellow carpella flower this time. Again, let's start with the nice petals. Coming inwards, remember the petals have to come home. That is the center of the flower. C center of the flower is the home of the petal. Remember that. The petals are look like this. One, two, one, two. So you can also play around with the petal sizes and you, know, you can paint around with the petal shape. It's fine. It doesn't need to be like a proper made up flower. That's how your petals will look. Now I'm going to do like a center. Uh, a little darker, deeper, the center, deeper, mini flowers, mini petals in the center. A little adding a little bit of crimson here so that it becomes a little darker. Every time you paint these flowers, they can be a little different because I think that's the fun of loose florals that it is. Not very similar every time you paint. I feel it's always a little different. There's always something that you add new to it. Now I need to like let it dry a little bit so that I can add a little bit more details to this. you like your it dried and uh, yeah and I'm adding some detail again here too and that's it here we add some green I'm add some green here. And see, here are nice greens. I like, like the possibility that you can always come up with a different ways of painting similar flower, but that can look very different at every time that you paint. Okay. Let me quickly do one another flower, another angle of this flower would be doing it this way 
just doing the sides of the flower okay this is how you can do this and you just do the one side of the stroke and then you connect this i'm going to rotate it so you can see it completely and you make like how we've been doing with the marigold and other flowers you make a little bulb area and you complete this this way the flower this is like the side angle of the flower you can just pull in some greens on the side that's it right some fun do let me know what you think about this flower and if you would like to try the flower painting this flower and do share your thoughts and comments uh, below so that i can make better i can come up with different flowers that you like and it would be fun right that's it now so that's it okay i hope you had a good time learning how to paint a carapera flower using a dew drop stroke and that's only one stroke with using round brush this is a fun uh, tutorial this is a fun flower to paint because it's exactly the same way how we have, how we have painted the five petal flowers and also there's a uh, another tutorial which has five year five easy flowers and that is very similar to this flower so it's just a recap but trying to use the same stroke and building a different type of flower different style of flower different type of flower but again remember we are using the same strokes the same brush and everything same and creating different types of flowers all right so i hope you enjoyed the series and you were having fun like how i am having fun um decoding and deconstructing these flowers so i will see you in the next class in the next tutorial by then do practice and you can share it with us on instagram or you can also email us um, the links are in the description below and if you have any doubts if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below we are really looking forward to all of them too so i'll see you in the next tutorial take care bye bye